Jesteśmy po meczu Vitality kontra Fnatic na IM Katowice i zaraz po spotkaniu dołączył do nas Dupri, czyli zwycięzca tego spotkania. Hello Dupri, nice to have you here. Hello, hello. Uh, how do you feel about being back in uh, Katowice again? It's always good to be as a lot of good memories here, so yeah, I'm happy and we just qualified for, for the arena as well. So that was a big step for the team, so yeah, things are really good. I already asked Krims about that you are the only players left that attended every IM Katowice. How do you feel about that? Uh, I mean, something that <laughs> obviously I'm I'm proud of and excited about, but it's not really anything I, I I think too much about. Actually, I didn't know when before I got here, so it's something that people pay more attention to than I do. So overall, it's just nice to be back. You know, it's uh, such a legendary tournament, and it feels good to uh, to be here and to play it. And also, uh, just you know, I have some really good memories from here, so it's always a pleasure to be back. You've been here many many times, but this is your second time with Vitality. Uh, last year's wasn't so good and the results was probably not enough that you expected. Um, what do you expect from this year? I, I really hope that we will that we will obviously uh, go far now. We've already 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 made it to the top top eight, so I think that is a, that's a really good thing for us. Uh, the goal was obviously to to go as far as possible, but now making it to arena was like the first step of everything. And I just hope that uh, we will continue the good play. I mean, I think we played worse today than we did yesterday, but at the same time, I also feel like they they had a uh, they had some momentum going and they were playing well, so I hope that we will keep improving and keep playing better. Spinks in an interview with us uh, agreed that with the statement that uh, he was the missing part of the vitality. Do you also agree? I think Spinks definitely helped in the way that getting getting closer to fixing the role problem that we've had in, in a long time in the vitality. I think that we Together with Spinks and Saibu, we have, have two really talented and really, really superstars in the team. And then it's up to the, the, the rest of us to help them uh, be consistent and do some of the heavy lifting so they will have some easier opportunities. I think it's, um, I think it's going pretty well. I mean, uh, we definitely had a better season now than we, that we expected. So I think it's, right, it's really nice that it, everything is going in the right way, especially thinking now that we are closing in on, on, uh, on the Paris Major as well. And moving to today, to today's match, uh, your enemy was Fnatic. What were your expectations about this matchup? I actually think Fnatic is a really great team with uh, a great combination of having an experienced guy like like Crimson the team, and then having picked having picked up some really uh, some really good talents in in, in terms of Oi and, and Nigros, and also Fasher for, for that matter. But I'm also kind of impressed with how Messi is dealing with. I, th I don't think he's been like an England leader for that long, and I think he's one of the the English that are actually fracking quite hard, so I think uh, they have some really good things going for them, and you can definitely feel that they have improved throughout the, the months they've been playing together. And I, I don't think anyone expected it to be an easy match at all going into them, and obviously it wasn't an easy match either. But uh, I'm just happy that we came out on top. Uh, for me, it was shocking that you let them uh, pick the overpass on which they had the 100% uh, win rate. Uh, did you had uh, something prepared for them on this? I think whenever you know a team has a really high win percentage on a map and you f you you're so you're so certain that they're going to pick it in in the veto, then you also prepare a lot for it, and that's also what we did. We had prepared a lot of things and and wanted to work on it, and it's also a map that we have put in some hours in. So I think it was uh, it was uh, it was a good pick from from them, obviously. But we uh, but we were also confident about playing it against them, and for us it was also a test. So it feels good to be able to beat one of the, if not the best team on, on Overpass right now. I think they are really a team that has been proving themselves on that map. So yeah, it's good confidence for us. As we saw, you performed really well on this map, but uh, in the end there were some problems. Uh, w what happened that you couldn't uh, close it out earlier? I think our T side today was uh, was really poor. Um, we were definitely won because of our CD side today. I think we uh, had some struggles as T. I at least had some struggles as T today. And we didn't find as many rounds as, as we wanted to as a team. It felt more like we won the rounds because of individual performances. Um, I mean, that's also part of the game. But today, I think we played a lot better as season than we did as T. And I think it's something we have to go home and look at because there was uh, some clear mistakes that we made here and there that we need to work on. Uh, but you've managed to win that. Uh, what were your moves in the team that before coming to the second map? Uh, it was it was mixed. I mean. I think we, it was good that we won a couple of rounds on the CT side to go into the third map, knowing that we were still in the game. Um, it was a mess, but we also remind ourselves that we, we just had to win one more best of one and then we'd go through. And I think that's what we did and that's what we focused on. What were you talking about before the decider? Just the fact that we were still in the game and that we had to step up and we had to be better and we had to work on the communication, not make it as hectic and all that kind of stuff. But I think that was the main focus. I saw that after one round, uh, Apex was uh, shouting uh, every time. Um, is this something that 
gives you motivation or gives you an energy? <laughs> it depends on what he's shouting. I mean, if he's uh, shouting good stuff, then it's really good. But if he's shouting bad stuff, then sometimes it's bad, but sometimes it's also what you need to to wake up. If you're playing sloppy or making too many mistakes, I think it's good that people can tell you that you're not doing something good enough or whatever it is. And uh, I think that's what that, that that's usually what happens within a team. Like he, he can get very emotional, but it's it's more in the beginning it was maybe because we made a lot of mistakes and he he got really frustrated. But now it's more like he gets frustrated as a team because we're not doing it as we're supposed to do and I think that's fair enough that he can get mad then. And finally you won this, you won this game, uh, how do you feel about coming back to this Spodek? deck? Ah, it's going to be great to be, to be in this board again, I've won it twice so I hope that we'll win it for a third time, it will be the dream. Um, but it's always a great atmosphere and it's always a great arena to play in so I'm looking very much forward to it and I'm excited to see how the stage is looking and I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just, re I'm just really looking forward to go for playoffs. Uh, you've already shown that uh, you have you, your very good performance, but uh, we also have uh, very strong teams like G2 and Navi. Uh, do you think that you are ready to compete with them? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think the, the title as as of right now is off a grab for anyone. I don't think there's a specific team that's been been doing better. Maybe G2 a little bit. I think maybe G2 is a slight favorite, if you could say that they also won in the World Final. So I think they they have definitely shown that they are playing pretty good. So they are a tough opponent for sure, but. I still think that it's it's oh, it's up to everyone. I think everyone can win. And tomorrow you will face a heroic for the spot in the semi-finals. Uh, what are your expectations about this matchup? It's always a tough game against heroic, and in some sense, you you want to go to the semi-final. That's always a really good goal, but you also just want to, yeah. I don't know. I mean, like the, those type of games are also a little bit special because you want to go to the semi-final, but at the same time, that if you lose, it's not like you're out of the tournament. You're still in the quarterfinals, so. It's going to be, in some sense, it's going to be a lot on the line, but at the same time, it's going to be kind of relaxed. Uh, but we'll do anything we can to win. Thank you so much. You're welcome.